I'm gonna have to name him Roadrunner. <laughs> oh, is this hilarious? Hey, Geeks Rally here, and thanks for joining me today as we play some more Ark Survival Evolved. We are on the Iron Man server. Sorry, I'm watching the stuff behind me. Uh, I'm being an opportunistic tamer today. Uh, we found a 290 Pachyranosaurus thing. Pachy... Pachyranosaurus. That was right. Ha ha. Oh. Ugh. Horrible death birds. Go away. Die. Deathbird. Uh, we picked up a Gallimimus today, too, because it was 270. They're just hanging out on a rock, so thought, why not? Go get their berries. Get them berries. And it's a really cool white color. I like the kind of white and green color. So figured, hey, why not? Plus, we want to try out the the new uh, skins that we got from the archaeology. Ar Arche wow, words today. Archaeology deal. So, yeah, that's we're going to tame up this girl. We have this girl, and we got uh, the Gallimimus dude that's going to be a little motorcycle action. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to, you know, I'll get this done. I'll bring you guys back. We'll have some fun. <laughs> There's a 290 Rex over here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure it can't get into the, the area to do anything. I've been shooting at it. Ow. In between the Bronto's tails. <laughs> I think the Bronto's have it handled now, but whew, just want to make sure. <laughs> almost time this girl is almost tamed up looks like we're about to get a rainstorm here too and i don't know if you guys saw that do you see the the message we got that the uh those brontos i can actually tame them now they're already started because i saved their lives i actually did that with this guy too this girl too there's a carno that's taking that body right there uh that was attacking it so i did a quick kill job on that bad boy to get this uh, this girl tamed up or started for us, so doesn't do anything. Like it wasn't too crazy. Like we can go take a look at these guys real quick because they probably won't stomp on me. Uh, was it gonna show a thing? Oh, okay, too late. <laughs> it, but it's pretty quick, so you can see because I didn't uh, try to do anything too like right afterwards. Oh, there we go. Uh, that I didn't actually like. I lost the chance pretty quick. So that's it's still pretty cool though that just by you know. Give them a little bit of help when there's something crazy attacking them. You can actually get some uh, some of the taming going already. All right, so let's... Uh, I made a saddle. Let's get on this girl. And then we are going to get up on here. Now, I know that there's, uh, like, left and right click do gas clouds. I don't remember which one does which. Maybe left and right? Maybe not left and right. Uh, so I don't want to do that quite yet. This is our Gallimimus. I haven't even named it yet. They are going, it's going to be stupid fast, and that's kind of the idea, was that we get something that's real fast. Oh, I have a level two. Uh, health? All right, cool. Oh, I've learned the Mosasaur saddle. Whew. Okay, so, yeah, that, okay, stop, 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 stop. So, the goal uh, was not to get more dinos. <laughs> Pardon me. The goal today wasn't to get more dinos. The goal today was to do some exploring, uh, which, I mean, the Gallimimus will help for that. Even though it's a little fragile, it will help in the fact that it's very, very fast. So, uh, I guess let's go back and see about making those skins that we haven't made yet for these new dinos. Because we have the Pachyranosaurus and the Pachy, uh, Pachycephalus, I think? Cephalosaurus? I don't know. Whatever. One of those things. Uh, so, I do want to get those so we can kind of take a look at them. So, I'm going to get these guys uh, up and situated. And I'll bring you guys back once we actually make those skins up. All right. So we've got our two packies uh, over here. And we've got our cooking pot, which is where we make this. I have a bunch of bones in there. Make one of these. Make one of those. We've got bones left for other stuff still. Uh, there's a bunch of bones. Ooh, ooh, wyvern costume. I definitely need to get more bones. Because uh, I definitely want to be able to do like the wyvern and uh, the quetzal, I think, is up here. Yeah. I definitely want those. All right, let me turn you back off. In fact, let's go ahead and take that stuff back out. And we'll just, I said, take that stuff, not singular thing. And we will uh, pick, up, pick up. There we go. Okay, let's turn this off. Looking mighty fine. Let's see how you look with this bad boy on. 
Ooh, look at them little spiny deals on the back of your head. Now, I think, I think, um, we can, like, color this. Oh, yeah, there's different. Oh, look at that. Okay, hold on. So this actually looks almost like, like, so how the admin paint works. Um, let's do green real quick. You kind of pick your color regions with the admin paint. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to apply that, I think. Let's look at one. These crazy colors. This is so cool. The, oh my gosh, they need to make this a thing for all of them. Uh, this one. Oh, brilliant. Which which one does those? Yeah, see, I want the horns to have some more of that on it. Oh, that is gorgeous. And now you can just. Oh. Like, how cool... Okay. How cool would it be to be able to just slide on costumes like that for any... Wow. Textures. Render in. What are you doing? Come on. But how cool would it be to actually be able to just, like, make your co your dinos, like, colored that way? Like, you could just keep a saddle colored with the, the stuff on it and just slap them on. Well, now I'm excited to see how you're going to turn out. All right. So, uh, let's look at this first because we can Oh, God, look at the striping on this. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, so that's the horn tips. That's the So it looks like you can kind of... Oh, my God. <laughs> Do we want... Okay, let's look at our green on these stones. It's not as bright as I kind of want it to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. we can make it purple. The purple does look kind of fun. Let's do purple. We do dark blue for this one. This one. Okay, that's the best looking of those. What about this? I actually don't think I want to paint the one that's already kind of green. I don't know where that one is. The horn tips. Yeah, we'll do white there. Uh, double click. Okay, very cool. Let's see. Oh, I already had it in there. <laughs> what? Do I? Oh, it makes your triceratops look. <laughs> I thought it was a pachyrhinosaurus you used them on, man. Okay, well, uh, hey, thank you, Anasaurus. Man, textures, what's wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it... Probably because of this being a packy that I thought this had to be a packy, too. That's funny. <laughs> I'm a dummy. All right, well, so be it. Now we need a cool trike. Uh, we got some cool colors until that happens, so it's fine. God, look at this guy, though. You are looking fly, my man. Oh, uh, you can see I've started doing some steampunk. I want to see if, uh, like, <clears throat> I remember back from the the modded days with the geek servers and stuff, when we had the center server, that we had um, the air air balloon, uh, which was amazing. I can't, I won't be able to use it until you know, I'm 95 because we need to be able to fly, you know, be able to fly to do that, which we can't do until we're 95. So, so be it. But yeah, I want to have one of those. So we have a, a kind of a cool, easy way to get uh, things moved around and fly around and do our thing. Apparently, I need a crazy trike now, so I can wear that cool, that cool stuff we just made. Uh, uh, come in. Uh. This is uh very packed in here. <laughs> it's not like crazy packed. It's just like the mammoth has a ridiculously large hitbox, and it makes stacking things in here very difficult. Okay, Whew. that was a lot of stuff to do, <laughs> and I didn't even plan on doing any of it. I just wanted to get, I just wanted to get going on the, you know, some exploring today. Uh. I don't know how that... Okay, it didn't hurt you too bad. Let's pump some speed. I've done a little bit of weight so far to make sure it can handle me. Because I'm a big old fatty when I have stuff on me. Let's see. Oh yeah, not too bad. We're definitely going to pump some more speed though. This is going to be... like I'm going to make this thing silly, stupid fast. So slow in the water. Alright, so... Let's go find some stuff. Let's just go explore a little bit, shall we? Alright guys, welcome back. 
Um, I'm on the Megatherium because I need Crystal, and I wanted to show you guys Monkey Puzzle. I uh, showed this off in one of his vids. Apparently, uh, I think Bison and Ur is the one that showed him where this is. But so there's the big green half fallen obelisk, and over here in the dunes is a uh, a place to get Crystal. Showing the map here, so we're right up by that kind of darker spot towards in the middle of those dunes. Um, I don't know if there's stuff in here. Very easy for non-flyer teams to become stuck in the lower half of the cave. So don't go into the lower half of the cave with the tape. Okay, anything in here to eat? Eat us? No? Alright, so uh, these crystals, I heard... Oh, I don't, <laughs> don't think I'll be harvesting crystal with my pistol. Uh, I heard these crystals are crazy. Is there bad things down here? <gasps> There's a human skull. Do you see those skulls? This is a bad place. Oh, God. Uh, but I heard that these little crystally deals um, are very, very full of crystal. Like, see how tiny this little guy is? Little crystal deal? 30 from that little tiny thing. Hilarious. Okay, can I get this one? Okay, we don't need to get the little tiny one. But, uh, but yeah, the big one is also supposed to be crazy how much you get from these guys. <laughs> okay, got the small one. Yeah, I mean, 30-something of those is crazy. That's great. All right, let's let's uh, let's clear out your inventory. We'll take that because it's a trophy deal. Anything else we're keeping? Probably not. We'll keep some berries for you, and then we'll drop everything else. Okay, I don't really need mushrooms, but... Okay, we'll take our trophy deals, put them on there. Okay. So these, let's see what we get. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot to keep uh, tell you guys too. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, the very, very end, we watched a dino fight unfold. Oh my God. There's another. <laughs> uh, we were watching a dino fight unfold um, and I forgot to update you. So at the very, very end, we saw a second Rex come in and it kind of even the odds out uh, versus the three Brontos. Um, Dude, those Rexes got all of them. <laughs> they turned the tide real fast in that second Rex. Um, and unfortunately, they were both a high enough level. I think one was a 260 and one was a 280 or something like that. They are both a high enough level that I had to actually kill them with my pistol afterwards because they were, they were charging the boat. So it was awesome to watch. <laughs> those Brontos did a great job. Uh, but that second Rex coming in, man, it just, it just turned the tide. You know what I'm saying? Like, there just wasn't enough. Are you okay? Wait still. There we go. I was going to say, I think we're, we're not showing up quite what it's supposed to. But yeah, so... Oh, oh, I forgot the stone looks like that. But yeah, so it turned out really cool. It was fun to watch that uh, unfold because, like, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Like, in ARC, you get to see that kind of stuff all the time. Wow, that was three crystal nodes. Um, there's always crazy battles like that going on, which is just... It's nuts, honestly. <laughs> but uh, it was really cool to watch. And uh, if I see any more of those fun little dino battles, I'll, I'll try to record them for you guys. Okay, so uh, lots and lots of crystal. That's the goal right now. I can probably put some more in before I can't move anymore. God, we got like hundreds. Okay, so what? The, whatever's in here, mine is like 60. So like 420-ish is what we just put in there um, from one, one of those crystal nodes. So, yeah, this is fantastic. You need crystal. Uh, I hear everyone else has been using the steampunk drill stuff. I haven't got to that yet, obviously. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this, is to be able to get some of the steampunk stuff to uh, kind of let us do some more fun stuff. But, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, I'm gonna keep getting this stuff here, right there, guys. <laughs> and I will uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done getting a bunch of, a bunch of crystal. Okay, welcome back. We have made more things. So... We've got the Blast Forge, we've got the Workstation, and we've got the Industrial Copper Forge. We needed this one so we can make this stuff here, which, what do we need here? Glass panels. So I need a bunch of crystal again. Um, I used all of that. I brought back 1,500, and I've already used all of it. Um, but I used it to make a bunch of the metal pieces so we can actually make ourselves something to make this a little easier. So 
There's a bunch of things in here for us to actually work with and kind of play with. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is go to fridges because we've got the stuff to make an ice box. Now, an ice box, you would think sounds a little silly. There's not really any, a reason for me to have that when over down on the grim, uh, we have ourselves, uh, you know, like one of the, the uh, eco mod ice box. Mm -hmm eco mod ice boxes uh but these guys have an extra little feature into them uh where they can okay so it's snapping i think see how it's saying you can't place it underwater <laughs> okay it worked um underneath this is water i used one of the water blocks to do that is that a rex that sounds like a Rex. I know. I'm sorry. Shiny stuff. I mean, it probably won't be able to get up here. I've got my pistol if I need to. So the thing is, I don't know. So it's not showing that it's irrigated. So the question is, if I snap one of these things. Nope. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick this up. I'm going to pick this up and show you. So I put a water block down here. My thought was that maybe I could use that and I could, uh, like, I could just snap the piece to it. But it looks like with that water block, I'll, or the, uh, with this piece, I'll have to run pipes to it anyways. So let's go ahead and do that first. Mm, I wonder if I can do one of the flexible pipes or not. Like, because we've got the S plus flex pipes. There we go. Um, or we could do this type of piping, which is the internal stuff that goes like right into things. Because I wonder if I could like put that down here instead. Eh, but I like where it's at. All right, so let's try doing that then, I guess, first. Voice is back. Place this. Okay, and now. Okay, and I place this. Needs two or more pipes nearby. Okay, so let's try regular pipe then. Ooh. Uh, regular. So do we want straight? Or do we want to do vertical? Probably vertical, right? Because I can hide them afterwards. I wonder then if I can put the tap in. The, oh, okay. So the tap is trying to place itself on the bottom of that pipe. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go through this again. Hold on a second. Let's pick up the ice box. Let's pick this up. And then let's see. Can I place this um, this way? Oh. It was it was right there. Uh -huh. Go over like right here. Okay, so now we've got a pipe that comes back that way. Not perfectly straight, but it'll do. Uh, and then, if I place this, see, because oh, so that's actually snapping to the pipe itself. Okay, let's just let's just try this. Now, can I do this? No. Okay, and I place this up back here and then connect these. Oh, oh my. Okay. <laughs> A little too far back. Yeah, okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> right? Not irrigated. Okay. I will figure this out, and I'll bring you back. Whoo, that was finicky. So I got it to work. Uh, my cable is still. Let's get out of that. Put some water over here in place. Stuck a little pipe, and then just snap this to it. Uh, so now it's irrigated. It's making stuff. You can see it's making pure water, which apparently will then make us a ice slushy deal. So that's what we want to do. I want to see how that actually works. I've heard great things, great things about these slushies. So uh, I'm going to go put some stuff away while we wait for that block of ice to 
get done doing a thing. Okay. Just put a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, I forgot I had a bunch of sand over here. I should probably make some clay up too. Do I have cactus sap still? I certainly do. Uh, okay. Let's just pull a bunch of sand. I don't really need clay for anything at the moment, but I'm sure I will. Let's go ahead and pull... Well, I don't think we need all of it. Let's pull 2,000. We'll just make all the clay we can. Made a bunch of uh, propellant because I went and found some sulfur. <sighs> okay. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold from being over here. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? What happened to the black? There's supposed to be a black ice already. You were already, like, almost done. Okay. I guess we'll have to stand here and watch this for a second just to make sure. <laughs> All right, show me your magical powers here, Ice Block. You should have already made one. I'm a little curious as to why you didn't make one. There we go, Ice Block. Okay. Oh, man, this takes a while, too. Okay. Well, at least it'll be going for a minute here. Whew. I like that it's got, like cold steam coming off it. It's a misty mist. As far as I'm concerned, you can just stay on all the time. Okay, I'll... <laughs> I guess I'll bring you back again in just a second. Okay. Slushy deal. Be a thing. Okay. So one of these is supposed to make... Uh, it's supposed to keep you cool, and I think it's all supposed to make you go real fast, too. So it looks like this will be something that I have, like, kind of just coming back to. Like, I'm going to leave it running for a while. But uh, Monkey Puzzle was using it to get his Anki back and forth across the desert real fast. So uh, we're going to try that. I just want to see how much faster it moves when we do that. <laughs> I heard you, Gallimimus. You want a snow cone slushy thing too, don't you? I think you'd probably be impossible to handle if this is the case. Okay. Uh, 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 Hitboxes. Okay, I know it's raining. Sorry about the uh, ridiculousness there, but I just got to see what we're looking at. So we'll get a, a baseline speed here, and then we'll use it. All right, so this is full sprint right now. Okay, let's go ahead and put this over here Oops. and give it a quick use. Oh, yeah, definitely faster. Ooh, buddy. Okay, so yeah, that'll make this a lot easier to get some metal. So I'm gonna go do that real quick um, Just in case you guys don't remember I'll show you where the metal nodes are, but that is uh, yeah, that's nice That'll definitely makes it a little easier. Oh, man. I need to check this <laughs> I'm gonna have to check on the Gallimimus now because uh, <laughs> Like the speed increase here is pretty funny 874 seconds it looks like 870 something maybe We'll see how long that goes. That's pretty good. But yeah, especially just to kind of get a quick, you know, like we're not too far away from a couple metal nodes. It's not many, but it's a few. It's enough for me to kind of fill up and, you know, head back. So we just kind of come over this direction. I've been climbing up on this part. Just to help me bypass these boulders right here. And then on the next little part of the hill here, there's obsidian right there. And then usually right here is metal. I've already... I've <laughs> I harvested earlier. I thought it'd be back by now, but it's not. Okay, usually it's right there, though. Well, I guess we can get some obsidian while we're out here. Ring, ring. So, if this works on any creature, man, that could be silly. This could be silly fast. <laughs> I need more. I need more of these things so we can try more out. Okay, we're going to drop the stone. We'll just take obsidian back. Okay. Let's uh, let's get back to base and try this uh, snow cone deal on something else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> time to try to set the land speed record. So let's see how quick these guys are normally. We'll do the same thing. We get ourselves a little baseline, and then we'll uh, go for it. So that's pretty quick. All right, let's let's consume one of these. Oh. <laughs> It's like game breaking. It's too fast. Oh my god. 
<laughs> the game can't even keep up. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Adding some. <laughs> Okay, I don't want it to die, so I'm gonna. Ugh. Look at. Oh my god, okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have to name him Roadrunner! <laughs> oh, is this hilarious? Okay. I've almost used all of it up. Uh, it's actually hard to get it up here. <laughs> I've been running around the map just because I could. I showed a bunch of other iron miners. <laughs> oh, it was too funny. Okay. Uh, uh, I can barely get it to steer up in here now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, that's too funny. And if that works on birds, too. Oh, my God. Like, we'll. <laughs> it'll just be ridiculous. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Oh, that was a good time. <laughs> like, that's game-breakingly fast. Like, it does not want you to do anything else when you're doing that. You make all of those things. <laughs> I want them all, man. Um, we're going to try one of the Megatherium, too, real quick. We'll take one of these. Because the Megatherium is pretty fast as it is. We'll get back down here. And nothing, like, it doesn't think most things don't uh, aggro it. So, like, you know, Megatherium is pretty quick. There's our baseline. One of these. Oh my gosh, yeah, Megatherium for the win. Like, it's strong, it's ridiculous fast like this. I can just go and get any ways we need to. The only thing we can't do is jump. Um, which is probably good though, because I tend to break things. Like when they come down like real hard, it'll not feel good. So um, yeah, that's golden. Those things, it, <laughs> that's a very, very cheaty moddy bit right there. But if you haven't made those, definitely worth making. Um, that's going to make a lot of stuff a lot easier to get across the map and stuff. And like I said, if that works with birds, <laughs> like, you imagine pumping a cat's, like, with one of those? I know they're super slow, but they'd actually be, like, usable at that speed. So, all right. And they just cost water. That's it. Just water. So we're irrigated now. We're good to go on that part. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just park this guy in here. Man, all of our slow stuff can be fast now. You know, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it yet. Huh. Because <laughs> I assume it does the same to me, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's just walking speed. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's go third person. That's just walking speed. Running speed. Um, it, it almost feels like I'm faster flying too. Or gliding. I wonder if I get like some momentum while I'm running. And hit the old glide. Oh, I gotta get off the ledge here. Hold on. Can I do this? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh... No, okay. The glide feels the same. Okay. That's cool. But that is definitely uh, very fast on my feet. Nothing will catch me now. Oh, I didn't take damage when I just... I guess I didn't fall too far, technically. But it's... uh. It's great and a little dangerous. <laughs> okay, I just looked at the time and holy crap, we have gone much longer than I thought we were going to. <laughs> the uh, We just been having fun messing with dinos and steampunk today, man. Uh, so, uh, all the dinos are locked up right now. Well, well locked up. They're safe, in, safe and sound right now. Um, I've just kind of been looking through some of this stuff. There's some more fun stuff for us to play with. Like, there's some silly weapons. Um, th like, this is a copper hook arrow that when you... It, it's So, if you guys watched us play... Uh, wow, what was it called? Dark and Light. They had, like, a... Uh, you'd, like, uh, like tie things to the ground, and that's how they get knocked out. And Steampunk has that, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, so we've got this stuff getting made. We've got dinos to play with. Uh, there's much more stuff in the Steampunk I want to kind of play with a little bit. I don't want to get, like... I'm probably not going to build in steampunk. It's not, I don't know, it's not quite my style. <laughs> I do like steampunk a lot, but 
Uh, what I want next is the drill bit deals, uh, but those come at level 80, and I am level 78, so I need to get leveled up, killing some stuff or something maybe, uh, so I can actually play with that a bit more. But once I get those drill bits, we won't have to worry about making metal runs or making uh, like crystal runs and stuff, because it just comes out of those drill bits, and that'll make us, you know, make it a lot easier for us to make some of the bigger stuff in Steampunk that I want to play with, like the balloons and the uh, teleporters and all the weird stuff they have. So that's the goal at some point uh but for now we're just gonna kind of keep gathering stuff and, and working towards getting uh you know leveled up like we need to so thanks for hanging out today guys hope you had a good time uh, that's <laughs> the slushies i'm an addict now man i like i have to have my slushie to make it through my day and so do my dinosaurs <laughs> all right guys if you enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like below you can always subscribe for more content and i will catch you on the flip side